Hi guys, this is Jessica the Book Art Goddess and I'm here to do a quick Friday slash weekend reads video. Um, I didn't film for the weekend, I mean for Friday, because we were busy getting together a birthday party for my girlfriend's um, daughter who is also my daughter's best friend. She turns 13 today, so we, and her birthday being so close to Halloween, we do the whole Halloween uh, slash princess theme for her birthday. So she gets like Halloween decorations you know, girly princessy decorations, but with a, you know, like maybe a Monster High-ish feel. It is just awesome. We have so much fun doing it. We do it every year, but this year had to be special because, you know, she's turning 13. Her last year in junior high. Yay. <laughs> but she's she's just a cool kid, and it was a lot of fun getting it together. And then they're at the party now, celebrating, and so... And I'm staying in contact with my girlfriend, and she's telling me all the fun stuff that they're doing. So, really cool. I'm really happy. So, um, anyways, I should get to tell you what I'm, what we're reading, what I'm reading for the weekend, and that is Maggie Steve Otter's The Dream Thieves, which is the sequel to The Raven Boys. The Raven Boys was absolutely fantastic. I absolutely loved that book, and I'm really enjoying this one. Um, just amazing, amazing book. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should. Um, it may be a little confusing. The Raven Boys may be a little confusing in the beginning, but stick with it. It explains itself as it goes on. It is just, but that's how Maggie writes. She, there's an air of uh, mystery to her books that you kind of got to weed through, and then it all comes together though. And it's beautifully written. Maggie's amazing. Her characters jump off the pages for you. I am absolutely in love with the Raven Boys. Absolutely, they are adorable. So I am like oh, maybe 100 pages into this, loving it um, as much if not more than the first one. I can't wait to see how she's going to um, uh, leave me hanging, of course, <laughs> at the end of this book. Maybe not, hopefully. but um, And then make me wait till next year to <laughs> have the next one. But... You guys really should check out the books. They're awesome. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be reading. And then if um, I have more time, I did start this um, because I couldn't wait. <laughs> I am a huge fan of Cressley Cole's Poison Princess, which is the first book to this series, which is the Arcane Chronicles. And this is called Endless Night. Endless Night and it is fantastic. I'm only 50 pages in, but the first book left off on such a cliffhanger well not really a cliffhanger but such a suspenseful ending that it, I just wanted more I and I got this book and I'm starting to devour it love it I'm not even sure which one I want to read more I want to read them both I want to devour both at the same time it's so bad but this one is awesome you if you haven't read the poison princess you should pick it up because it's all about tarot cards and um, Bayou the Bayou an apocalypse, the apocalypse type of a situation, zombie type things. Oh my gosh, this she has put so much into this book, but it doesn't feel like um, it's overdone. It doesn't feel overwhelming. Nothing. It just flows. It's beautifully written, very imaginative. I have never read anything like this. Love it. You guys should check it out. And ugh, I just can't wait to get back to reading. So guys, that is what I'm reading for the weekend. Have a good weekend. Um, let me know below what you're reading so I can check you out. And I will see you next time. Bye.